What's up, Nail Geeks? I am back with another polish pickup video. This time we have the theme movie quotes. Uh, Wishlisting is currently going on right now. I know I've got a really big uh, list going on for me. Uh, I honestly was a little hesitant for this theme. Uh, I'm not a real big pop culture type person. I'm, as you guys know, at this point, pretty nerdy, uh, self-reserved, what have you. So I'm wasn't super impressed with the theme when it was nominated and then when it was picked um, but after working on a couple of these and then making my wish list yesterday since wish listing did open up yesterday uh, I am definitely eating my words so this is a really good month uh, I'm just at the point now where I'm like well even if the theme isn't my favorite um, I should just reserve my judgments for when I see what the products look like so I digress this month is awesome and I've got just a couple to show you guys I've also got my sponsored giveaway happening too uh, same thing just leave a comment below I'm gonna pick 10 of you to win a $10 PPU gift code um, I'm going to have the video dropping today uh, it's Monday morning right now uh, working against the clock at this point um, I'll have the giveaway giveaway running until Wednesday so Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time um, please please keep an eye on this video uh, I do a pinned comment and uh, I'll list all the winners there I noticed that on my comment picker last month um, it was giving the names that you guys registered with or something so it was a little tricky uh, some of your names weren't what your screen names were so please please check the pinned comment on this video on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time to see if you're a winner um, I did my best um, everyone except one person last month got a code so uh, I didn't hear from one of you so please go back to January's PPU video and uh, just double check me make sure that um, I'm pretty sure I got everyone's screen names correct so I think I just missed you or you missed me I digress I'm babbling so go back and check and make sure that um, you are not not claiming your code I want you guys to get your codes um, so anyways we got a lot of fun stuff so let's dive right into the swatches so first up, we've got Baroness X Mighty Heart. This is described as a sibling to January's polish as a clear base with teal to indigo sister unicorn pea pigment and loaded with silver reflective glitter. This is suggested to use as a topper, especially over darker colors. Price on this one is $13 and there is no cap. Now you can wear this on its own. Uh, it is gonna be a touch on the sheer side. I think if you go up to three coats, the shimmer mostly comes off as that nice emeraldish sort of greenish color and at angles it easily shifts over to teal. This is packed full of silver reflective glitter. Very pretty and very sparkly, but it is going to be quite a bit gritty. So definitely finish off with a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy top coat. Now here is how it just shines and takes center stage over a dark color so this is one coat of a black cream polish and going in with that icing method you can see how wonderful that coverage is and you get that nice emerald to teal effect very much in your face wearing it over white it is a touch more subtle in terms of how the shimmer pops I think a second coat would be a little more in your face but I do think this is going to pop best over dark colors and next up we've got Bees Knees Lacquer. This is better than no heart at all. Described as a pale pink Dumacorn sibling with the same green to blue shimmer. This is inspired by Stardust. Price is 13 and there is no cap. This is a beautiful shimmery beauty. It's so gorgeous. It looks like it's going to be uh, quite a bit on the sheer side, but when you build it up, it's just delicate, wonderful, decently, in my opinion, opaque finish. It is so glowy. You're mostly going to see that nice limey, almost goldenish green sort of glow. And in angles, there's easily this wonderful blue shift. I'm going to throw up a macro here in a moment so you guys can catch that shift too. It's very, very nice. I'm going to suggest going in for three light coats on this one. Just let it slowly build up. And then it does have a flat finish to it. So finish with a good glossy top coat, though I think a matte top coat would be beautiful with this one too. And you'll be good to go. 
And next up, we've got DRK Nails, I hope. This is described as a bright red magnetic microflake with pastel microflakes. This is inspired by the movie Shaw Shaw Shank Redemption. I knew I was going to mess that up. Price is $13.90 and there is a cap of 400 bottles. Now this is a really versatile magnetic polish. I think it looks fantastic unmagnetized, which is what you're seeing here first at three coats. It does have a thinner formula to it, but as you can see between that second and third coat, it really packs a punch in that vampiness and how it builds up. Very glowy. It's just really nice. I think if you don't magnetize it, you're going to get that nice purpley sort of speckled appearance that kind of just makes it a touch darker, if that makes sense. And then going in here with the Magic Magnetic Top Coat, uh, you can see it reacts really well with that because it's got that lighter uh, feel to the formula. I don't think this is one of the most intense uh, magnetic effects, if you ask me. Uh, it does have the uh, similar color family to how the magnetic color looks compared to the base color, but you can definitely see it's very obvious and there's quite a bit of movement to it as you wiggle your fingers around. Okay, so this next one from DRK Nails is her Wonder Oil. Uh, you guys can see it on the screen right there. Um, this is quite a large tube. I do have to say that, and I'm very impressed with that. Um, a lot of the cuticle oil pens and whatnot are five milliliters. This one is 10 milliliters. Now you'll see here on the application when I use it that it is very heavy. If you're like me and your skin's really porous, um, I know I get really, um, for lack of better words, ugly cuticles all the time. It's it's not even just from swatching. It's just I have really deep wells from my cuticles to my nails, what have you, and I appreciate something heavier on my skin. So this one, a little bit goes a long way. I would strongly recommend just using a little drop now i do want to note that the scent to this it does contain lavender oil so i want to caution you guys it's more of a natural scent in my opinion if you've ever used uh the castile soap and the scent lavender this is literally that smell it's just straight up pure um not artificial very real lavender scent overall i'm really impressed I really um, like that it's got the little dropper thing here. Uh, I like that and uh, I think it's a lot easier than say um, just twist, twist, twist with the pens or what have you. I just prefer something a little more uh, freeing, liberal, what have you in how I apply stuff. So uh, overall that is really nice and it's uh, very compact but quite a bit of oil in there. And next up is Fair Maiden Polish. This is Even Miracles Take a Little Time. Described as an ultra pale periwinkle base with pink, gold, green, aurora shimmer. Inspired by Cinderella. Price is 12 and there is no cap. So I was very impressed with the formula of this. It's very creamy. It's very smooth and it plumps up wonderfully. Uh, and you can see the shimmer very obviously too. So in my experience, shimmers are a little bit lighter on formula. They're typically not very creamy like um, just to let them shine through, but I didn't have that with this one. So I was really uh, impressed, interested with that. And the base color is very flattering. It's got that nice cool tone to it. So if you're very warm undertone like myself, this is gonna pop very well on you. I think two coats for the most part is good. If you tend to polish on the very thin side, you might need a third coat. It does have a flat finish to it. So I would suggest a glossy top coat. And next up is Night Owl Lacquer. This is My Blood, Your Blood, Our Blood. Described as a black and purple base with vibrant red, copper, gold shifting shimmer. Inspired by Practical Magic. There is no cap and this one is 13. So this one is another vampy goodness. Definitely uh, matches up with the inspiration if you ask me. Uh, I think three coats, three light coats is going to really pop well for this one. It starts off a touch on the lighter side as you can see between that first and second coat. But I'm going in purposely very thin on this one just because I wanted it to um, maximize the shimmer to it. And it's got a bit of a squish factor. So I didn't want to uh, risk any dragging or anything. But you can see on the third coat here just how dark and deep and rich this one comes out. The uh, purpley sort of base takes a back seat compared to the shimmer. 
in indoor light you're going to see that gorgeous dark copper effect and at angles it shifts over to that lovely uh, gold sort of color and up next is psych minerals this is hello boys i'm back described as a seafoam green jelly base with blue aurora shimmer and blue to green to gold flakes price is 12.50 and there's a cap of 100 bottles so this has a very light formula to it it's got a bit of a milky feel to it almost like um like a milky jade sort of color, in my opinion. I think it's going to be best built up between two to three coats, depending on how much of that uh, milk bath sort of appearance you like. If you have a very prominent free edge, I think you're going to see it pretty much regardless. Even if you go up to three coats, it'll just be a touch subtle, but it allows the shimmer to really shine through. The blue shimmer is very obvious in person, and I really like that it complements the flakes very well too. Now, just remember, this has quite a bit of a squishy factor to it, so I'd suggest going in lighter to prevent any uh, balding or anything like that. It does dry down semi-gloss, so I think any top coat will be perfect. And last but not least, we've got Sassy Sauce. This is horse of a different color, described as a lightly blue tinted linear hollow base with strong pink purple gold shimmer and a touch of shifty hollow purple glitter. Price is 13 and there's a cap of 200 bottles. I have a feeling this one's gonna go quick. This is so gorgeous. It knocked my socks off, even for a uh, purpley polish. It uh, definitely has that enough of a blue vibe to it that I uh, <laughs> fell in love with it and I could forgive all the purpleness. Uh, I will dodge any of the uh, items that the purple lovers are currently throwing at me. This builds up very well. I think between two to three coats, it's perfect. There's so much sparkle to this. And in the sunshine or bright lights, you're going to see wonderful rainbows from the linear holographic effect but in indoor lighting is where it just shines so well indoor and dull lighting that shimmer just pops so so good as that nice pinky to gold shift okay that's it so uh wish listing is currently open uh today's monday it did open up yesterday afternoon and uh the shop is going to open this friday at 11 a.m eastern time and will go until Monday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm going to have Polish Pickup link below in the description box for you guys. In addition to the Facebook group, if you want to see additional swatches, all the information, uh, all sales information is in that group. And uh, we also have a BST group that myself and Lisa run. So if you want to get in there too, but you have to be a member of that first group to join. Uh, I'll have all this broken down again in the description box. In addition to timestamps, if you want to go back and rewatch something, if it helps. And just for funsies, uh, if you're curious what's on my, on my wish list, uh, let's see. We've got, uh, oh, I've got quite a bit of wax this month because uh, they're all vanilla, very sweet like flavors. And I am a bakery nut when it comes to scents like that. So I've got uh, Wax by Luna Lab Creations. I've got Tonshi's uh, Let Them Eat Cake. And I've got Vapid's uh, Is Butter a Carb. Real talk, I might just get like three of those Vapid Waxes because Vapid Wax is the bomb, um, but also that scent description sounds divine. Uh, I've also got Wildflower Lacquer, my, my Lips Hurt Real Bad. I've got Polished for Days, Princess of Genovia. That movie was so cute, guilty pleasure. Uh, I've got Dreamland Lacquer, uh, Bond, James Bond, because hello, Blue. Someone apparently agrees with me too. And I've also got, I've also got Cleonad Cosmetics. Cleona, I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Cleona, someone correct me. I know I saw the phonetic pronunciation for that on Instagram, um, but I digress. I do have that on my wish list too. The uh, I want everlasting gobstopper. The flaky bomb in that reminds me of like it was around the time when I first got into indies, and that was a big finish. It was like the holographic look with a bunch of little colorful flecks throughout it. So, anyways, super pretty. I have to get those. And uh, let me know in the comment section uh, what's on your wish list. Are you participating? All that good stuff, and it will count towards uh, your giveaway entry. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. You guys rock. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, I will see you guys in a little bit in the next video.